Hello, today we will study the prokaryotic eukaryotic cells. Let's start. The oldest and primary division of cells is the two primary kingdoms that are the kingdom of prokaryotes, also called monera, and that of eukaryotes. Prokaryotes are the oldest unicellular microorganisms, they have no intracellular membrane, that means they have no membrane-bounded organelles. These prokaryotes are found in all environments. The prokaryote cells contains two domains. The first is bacteria and the second is archaea. Eukaryotic cells are unicellular or multicellular organisms. They have intracellular membrane. This means that they have membrane-bounded organelles. And they are forming just one domain that is called eukarya. We conclude that in total there are three domains of cells in life. They are bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. Bacteria and archaea together form the kingdom of prokaryotes, while the eukarya alone form the kingdom of eukaryotes. Now we are going to see the similarities between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Firstly, both kinds of cells are living organisms. They may have cell wall or cell membrane. This membrane or wall is existing at the outside covering of the cell. They have cytoplasm, ribosomes, chromosomes. Both kinds of cells can have flagellum. Yeah, some animal eukaryotic cells can have flagellum, as also prokaryotic cells. Both kinds of cells can be unicellular, yeah? Also, prokaryotic cells are unicellular and eukaryotic cells are multicellular or also unicellular. Let's see the differences between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Firstly, is the DNA. In prokaryotic cells, we have a circular DNA found in the cytoplasm. This is, as you see in this figure, this is a circular DNA. And in a prokaryotic cells, we can find it here. It is circular and existing in the cytoplasm. When we talk about eukaryotic cells, the DNA is linear and it is found in the nucleus. Here, as you see in this figure, this DNA have a form linear, and it is found here in the nucleus. So we repeat, in the prokaryotic cells, the DNA is circular and found in the cytoplasm, while in eukaryotic cells, the DNA is linear and it's found in the nucleus. In this figure, we have an example of eukaryotic cell, that is animal cell, and another example of prokaryotic cell, that is bacterial cell. We can see the main similarities between these two kinds of cells, as we have said before. For example, the cell membrane, the ribosomes, the cell wall, the chromosomes, the flagellum. But we want to continue with the differences between these two kinds of cells, for example, organelles. Some organelles are present in the animal cell or in general in eukaryotic cells, but are absent from the prokaryotic cells. This Organelles are bounded by membrane, and we start with the nucleus. As we can see in this figure, the nucleus is present 
in the eukaryotic cells, but we cannot find them in prokaryotic cells. Another one is Golgi, Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus, we can find it in eukaryotic cells, but not in prokaryotic cells. Also, mitochondrion, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosomes, peroxisomes, centriole and centrosomes, but also the cytoskeleton is present in eukaryotic cells and in prokaryotic cells it's sometimes present but mostly absent. Additionally, in other kind of eukaryotic cells like plant cells, we can find chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are present in eukaryotic cells but absent from prokaryotic cells. Other differences between eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells are in the size, growth and cell division. For example, for the size, eukaryotic cells are larger than prokaryotic cells that are smaller. For the growth, eukaryotic cells have a slow growth and prokaryotic cells are fast when growing. Cell division, eukaryotic cells have mitosis and meiosis, while prokaryotic cells have binary fission. The presentation is finished. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.